What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog. And today I'm gonna to be exploring San Janelle's festival. Last year they didn't do it, but this year they're gonna do it again. And I wasn't gonna vlog it, but I thought it would be like a different experience to check it out, see how it's doing this year in 2021. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, so join me. The beginning of the festival is pretty packed. You see a lot of people around here and a lot of food options, but this is just one block that I'm walking, so I got like a couple more blocks to walk ahead. I'm gonna see what can I find, I'm probably gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat, but let's just explore around, see what the festival has to offer. Also, another thing about Little Italy is the way all these set up like these tables around here. They open a the restaurant, then they got an awesome you can eat inside or outside. Believe it or not, I've been to Little Italy many times. Here's another restaurant. But I never ate in the restaurants in Little Italy. So maybe one of these days I'm gonna try it out. But I heard the one in the Bronx is even better. It's like a real authentic thing. But here, we got more options like lemonade. You're gonna have to like free refills too. You can see the crowd over here, you know. So there is a lot of people. And I thought this year they were not gonna do it, but I guess they're doing it this year, so. I guess it's a good thing, you know. Like things are opening back little to little, but yeah. I'm gonna make some kebabs right there. Huh? Some food, some onions, kebabs, some corn. I'm making a pizza. I mean, you can't see it because of the flash, but it's right in the oven. And here they offer some pasta. I think in the years that I came before, I always have a few right here, so. It's good stuff too, and it's cheaper than the restaurants in Little Italy, but yeah. Let's keep walking a little forward. See what can we find. We'll see it keeps going. Let's go! 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 And the good thing about this is that this festival, it lasts about 10 days. It lasts about, no, it lasts 10 days. So it started yesterday and it goes all the way till September 26th. So, so I can always come back and try different foods over here, you know, different options, because there's so many options over here. And a lot of restaurants, you know, and I guess they offer the best when they do this festival. So I think it's pretty cool. Over here, they got like a pepper spot. I can smell it, it smells pretty good. And it's awesome, let me see if I can sneak by. Let's see. I think I've only walked like one block, <laughs> maybe two blocks. You can see all the lights, it keeps going all the way ahead. And it starts from 11 in the morning, 11.30, till midnight on the weekends, and the rest of the day is till 11 o'clock. But I think it's much nicer if you come in the night time. Uh, there's, a lot to go, there's a lot going on over here. Lots of film and stuff, so you, know, you can see pretty crazy, a lot of crowds. Good vibe. Here's another cannoli spot. But to be honest with you, I'm not really a big fan of cannoli, but a lot of people they like it. There's different options over there. And 
haben ja sogar Gelato. I like all the colors combined together. Another cool thing they do is they set up like this area, like if you want to drink, you set it up like in a bar or something like that, but you can't walk in the streets around with this, so you just go in the corner. I wish this was like Las Vegas where you could just order your stuff a drink like this with liquor and then you can just walk around this area, you know, as long as they put like a barricade. But I guess they don't do this here in New York, so. But yeah, here's another restaurant that's open. I wonder if I can see a menu around here. Like a menu, so you, got, so you guys can just have an idea how much it costs. Usually they put the menu around. This one doesn't have this, so the other ones they do, but. But I got like a couple more glasses for ahead. Let's see what's happening. So actually, yeah, this one has a menu over here. You can get like an idea. I don't know if you can see it clearly, you know. Some things could be a little pricey. Yeah. But yeah. Basically, I have an idea how much the restaurants around here cost. Like $20 a meal. But I heard it's really good, you know, and worth it. So if you want to do it for the experience and, you know, come down. Give yourself like a nice try in uh, Italian food. You're making like more sausage. Sausage. Good. And believe it or not, I never had those sausage. Maybe one of these days I'll try, but I think I'm gonna move some pasta, maybe spaghetti or something. It's something like I don't wanna eat like too heavy, but I'm gonna keep exploring around here because there's a lot of things to eat, so I'll see what's going on over here. There's another thing that I used to eat a lot when I come to this festival, which is like some meatballs and they stick it together with the spaghetti combined together. You can have like at least two of those and it fills you up. But I haven't seen them here. Maybe they're a couple of blocks ahead of me, so I'm gonna keep walking to see if I can find them. So I'm still, it's still not over. There's like a couple of more blocks ahead of me. I'm just waiting for the light to change, so. Another thing I haven't noticed, unless if I walk a couple of more blocks ahead of me, is where they got like those ice cream rolls, you know, the ones that they froze it, and they just like roll it up. This is more like a jewelry and shirts area. So you have an idea that they sell a little bit of everything, not just food. Then you can play games here and win prizes. You got also like a garlic bread right. You also got like garlic bread right here. More natural juices. I don't know if it could be good or be bad coming here with an with a empty stomach like myself. It could be good because there's a lot of food options. Restaurants, bars over here. They also sell like a little bit of Latin things like arepas. I have had this brand before and they're really good. You see them right there, arepas. So you can grab like from snacks to a full dinner, everything right here, so yeah. They even sell cheesesteak over here. And like a mini market over here. Clothes, beautiful clothes too. The colors, everything. And this is like a lemonade stand. Made some, oh, they got bacon fries in there and crab fries. But I'm gonna do the seafood, so. So I had to turn back, there's something that I don't remember seeing that in the other San Janelle, but look. Look at all this chunk of meat. Wow. Look at that. And then look at that, that's a huge, wow. festival ends around here and behind me I noticed a Latin spot and there's like another restaurant spot also that I might want to try but I'm gonna keep an eye on that to see what I want to eat but I'll see what else is to do around here and if not I'm probably gonna wrap up the video but 
so far, you know, you have an idea what the Santinal looks like, so it's a really good festival. I gotta say the chicharrones or whatever they smell really good, so I might go for that, but I'll see. The mozzarella right now. Empanada, empanada! Okay. Chorizo. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you can see it clear, but I order like a, pic like a picadillo, a little bit of everything. It has uh, tostones, chicharron, chorizo with just like sausage, uh, pork. So, I'm gonna dig in. So, I think I showed pretty much uh, San Janelle Festival. I already had my bite and it was pretty good. So, that was the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody, and peace.